How you got? How's it going? Good man, how you doing? Good. Man, I'm sure there's a lot of people with a little southern twang accent around here, huh? Yeah, well, you know, they say something about the southern twang. If you talk from the south, she gonna let you put it in her mouth. Oh, alright. Well, yeah, thanks. guys from the north ain't so lucky, you know what I mean? The only thing guys from the north are born <laughs> with, they're hung like Shetland ponies. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's what I heard. I mean, I don't know for certain. This is what I heard. Well, you sound pretty uh, knowledgeable of that. Yeah, well, you know, I like to look, I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none, but a master of, of none better than a, I don't know how that goes. There's more to that than I that think I you said. just like Shetland ponies. Come on, bud. Yeah, man, I saw your ad in the paper there. Y'all looking for yourselves, uh, yourselves an operator. I do have a CDLs there. I was uh, working for the garbage company for a little while, but it's a stinky job. Stuff. Yeah, a little bit easier doing that. Yeah. All right, let me uh, take this rain gear off. How long you been in business for, mate? Ooh, that's better. Yeah, mate. How long you been in business for? Uh, about a week. We just moved out here. We've been in business since 1973. Oh, wow. North Yankton. Yeah, my uh, my grandfather owned it. And uh, it's just kind of a pass down since my father didn't bother to take it. So. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's pretty cool. So uh, what kind of stuff do you all specialize in? Uh, so obviously towing. We do in-shop repairs. We do maintenance to fire vehicles, Leo, all that nine yards. Uh roadside services so if someone gets a flat tire we'll get it all squared away uh, fuel delivery <coughs> you name it whatever we can get our hands on and uh, graffiti removal is what we're trying to get into right now and uh, trying to work out a contract all right with, guys uh, LSPD on getting this area cleaned up it's pretty rough so a little bit of everything yeah Accident recovery and uh, traffic assistance too so yeah, man, I tell you, man, going around these different parts, picking up garbage. My route, I, I went down to the grocery area a little while. Uh, that's a dangerous spot down there, man. A lot of gang activity down those parts. Fucking place is painted up like <laughs> yeah. Picasso's basement. I tell you, it's dirty down there. Yeah, it's rough. I'll tell you. I, I'm, I hate going down there. Do you, uh, do you carry? Do you have a CCW? Yeah, man, I got myself a CCW. Okay. You got one? You got a pistol on you? Yes, sir, I do. Got myself a revolver. Right. I got it from a great granddaddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, we, we, I prefer my guys to have that in the event. I mean, obviously, if you got your CCW, that means you're in some decent mental state. I'd hope that uh, you're not going to do something you probably shouldn't. But people get a little crazy in this job, so I like to make sure my guys are, you know, situated and not going to get messed with and know how to defend themselves. So. I like that, man. I like that y'all are... Yeah, open as a carry. Play. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yep. Right on. Well, uh, what uh, besides, what was that previous job you said you had? Anything I worked else for the trash that? collector. Uh, well, I got a little odds and ends stuff here and there, you know, for a little while there. I was, uh, I was, uh, I delivered soda for a little while. Um, it was all right, but it's hard work. Um, and then I, uh, I did the garbage company for a little while. That wasn't bad. The guy there was my manager, uh, his name was, I think his name, his name was Travis or something. He was a dick. I'm going to tell you right now. He expected way too much for way too little. And I just, you know, I went to work every day. I did my thing. You know, I worked hard, played hard. But it just came from, uh, you know, it just got to be too much, man. You know what I mean? Because you're short staff like everybody is right now. Oh, yeah. They want no, you, I'd... you know, I don't mind working 60 hours a week, but I want to work 60 hours a week and, you know, get paid for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we it's a uh, live action piece, Sam. I mean, the more work you guys can, the more money you guys rake in, I like to give you guys a percentage of versus just the hourly wage as a you know a thank you. So keep you guys motivated. You know, I'm not about making a ton of money as long as we have some inflow coming in to pay for the bills, and I got no problem treating people right. So, but uh, yeah, I get you there. Every every Travis I've met's an asshole. I don't I don't get. What yeah, I don't know what is, it so. is. I just feel like there's some like some backstory to them like what maybe they had a bad experience as a kid or some, something i don't know what the fuck their problems are but some wild hair up their ass all the time i don't know yeah no as uh yeah i had there was two managers there was the uh the gm his name was travis and then the assistant gm his name was thomas and i'm gonna tell you something bud those two motherfuckers oh man meaner it's than something shit. with a t 
I don't. Yeah, I guess so. T for the asshole. I, got I, guess. A, I don't know. I got one of my guys back in North Yank that's moving down here. Tim Brown. He's a. Whew, he's a hothead. Let me tell you. Yeah, I don't really so, know why people got to be like that. But yeah, man. So what kind of equipment you run? What do you kind of? What do you got to specialize in for equipment? So I got. We'll take you over there. We'll get you situated. Um, but as far as equipment, we got a Peterbilt rollback. Uh, we got a the roadside van you saw out front on the Ford Transit. Oh yeah, I do cop stuff, man. Uh, I just I'm doing this kinda night. Pretty much Chevys across the board. Uh, Twenty five hundred. I hear you there, uh, man. I tell you, truck. bow tie or no tie for this cat right here. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> yep. Um, and then we got a Chevy rollback, and that's about it for right now. Trying to get some uh, get some funds saved up. We actually totaled one of our heavy wreckers. So we haven't been able to take on any heavy recoveries lately. So that's mainly the goal right now for everybody. Word, man. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. You all got, like, a specific uniform you want us all wired or vast? Or... I usually wear my steel toes because you never know when you have whooped some ass. But Yeah, steel toes are a must, man. It, I can't tell you how many times I went out and didn't have them, and I hit my damn toe, and that was over. So, yeah, as far as, as, far as clothing, the biggest thing, safety vests. Um, we can't, I, I don't want to risk you guys being out there and some bimbo hitting, uh, one of my operators from looking at her phone or whatever have you. So, uh, yeah, definitely safety vests. I like to wear just casual. I, we don't have any uh, uniforms in yet. They're still shipping through FedEx. So we'll probably be here next year. So as soon as those get in, we'll be able to get everybody suited up with some good autos gear. There's like a shipping place I heard out in Nevada, pretty good there. They're pretty quick, but FedEx sometimes be a little slow. Same thing with the Ups place, you know what I'm saying? What's up, Lago? Oh yeah, I hear you. But uh, yeah, man. Hey, y'all, y'all know where to, you got supply the vest or where do I find the vest at? Because I mean, I got this vest, but uh, I don't know where I. There. Where. Let me see. Let me check the. Uh, let me check that cabinet over there. Hang tight. All right, man. Yeah, guys, so tonight we're doing a little bit of towing RP tonight, guys. Um, I don't know what there is for cost, but I've been wanting to get hired here, uh, run some of the Peterbilt stuff. and. Hey, go ahead, come out here. Figure out it, uh, might as well show you, right? So, All right, uh, man. obviously we got our main shop here. Um... Right here is where we produce all of our in-house parts. We build them inside, on-site. Well, assemble them on-site, I should say. We'll order them in, in parts, a lot cheaper, so less overhead. And we can provide a lower cost to the customer versus these other guys in town. But uh, we build everything in-house. Uh, wheels and tires, obviously, we just purchase outright. But um, so we got three bays back here. We got our storage and locker room, so you can, uh, if you want to take this locker right here on the right, nobody's taking that one yet. All right, man. Yeah, uh, we'll do. Let me do, see for if sure. I get all vests, extra vests in one of these. Hang on. All right, my man. I got a uh, extra vest, vest number three here for you. All right, man. Uh, where? Uh, hang on, I'm gonna see if I can find her. Was that right? Where are you find that at? Uh, number three. I don't know if it'll fit around that uh, leather vest there you got. So. All right, man. It'll run a little small. That's one. Uh, yes. Man, I ain't got nothing there for three. Where's that under there? Uh, vest, body armor.
You just running a straight yellow peony? Yep. Man, we don't, you don't need that hard hat that was in there. I think the last guy left it in there. Uh, you're more than welcome to use it if you want. I mean, <laughs> it's just been chilling since we moved in here. How the hell do I make this a shirt here? What, you know how to take the shirt off I got underneath here? Uh, should be, uh, should just be under shirts. I got like a is default that, white t-shirt on or some shit. Yeah, just find something that will run a little small. Scuba Steve. Man, I don't know. These are like weird. They're cut off on the sides or some shit. Yeah, let me see it. Shirt and accessory 15. Shirt overlay 211 is what I run. Matching already. Actually, we gotta get you situated with some uh, some tools. All right, right here on this cabinet over here, a supply sh shelf. Car jack. I can't see nothing here, man. Oh, hang on. Here, I'm just gonna grab my comb out of here and fix my hair a little bit. I got the most important part. I don't really know guys why I can't like I don't have any hair. Hey, what was your last name again? My name my last name is Mac, man. Kevin Mac. Alright. I don't really know what the fuck's up with that guys. It's Mac. Look up to Mac. Open your eyes, woman. Find the application. trying to fix my hair here. I don't know why, but I'm having issues with yeah, the back of my head. You stick it where it wasn't supposed to go? Or? I guess. I don't fucking got me, man. <laughs> and I'll, uh, let me go check on this guy that needed me earlier. All right, man. Back. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I'm just trying to figure it out. I don't know why the fuck is that going to the back of my head. I guess we're going to wear a hat. Yeah, she's 
right here. She'll get you squared away. Alright, guys. Alright, mate. You ready? Yeah, I think we're alright. Alright. So know, you, you can look did, like you could pass as my brother. Oh, well, you know, we could be related. Did you still oh, need shit. me to grab something out there or no? I didn't. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Here we go. Too much going on here. All right, so in our... You see this shelf right here? Yes, sir. Supply shelf. So go ahead and grab a uh, car jack. Do one car jack and then uh, grab uh, one advanced repair kit. And one re regular repair kit. Then on uh, this shelf over here. Hey man, I got bad news here. What? I grabbed a car jack. Now it's gone, and I don't have it. I got like a little lock thing there. I don't know what that is, but. Oh, uh, here. Let me uh, let me take a look. Yeah, every time I try to grab it, it disappears. Oh, I don't have enough money. That's why I need the money. All right, that's me. Oh, I got you. Don't worry about it. I got it. Hey, Brayton Fowles, nine eighty six. Thank you, dude. Got David Wire, one thousand ninety two days. Thank you, Justin. We'll be back when we drop the trailer off. Thanks, man. Right, come over here. Hey, also, I'll give you my phone number too, man. If you need it over here, you gotta get a hold of me. You can. All right, one second. Did you grab that? Not yet, but I will. What's up, bud? You all set? Okay, sounds good. We'll reach out to you as soon as we get some free time and uh, talk some uh, positions, see what we got open. Hopefully, we can get something open up soon for you. Uh, let me know as soon as possible. We'll do. Okay, sounds good. I appreciate you. All right, thank you. You're welcome. I mean, there was a repair kit. I got that. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple things here. That's another repair kit. Actually, let me even put them on this shelf. What's that, hon? I don't see a squitter on you. Yeah, man, there's just repair kits there. Wanna grab okay. it from here? So go ahead and uh, grab this uh, storage shelf right here, and uh, you'll grab a car jack. I mean, there ain't nothing in there. Hang on a second. I'm so sorry, sir. <sighs> you remind me of Tim already. All right, man. Got me a car jack. What else do I need to grab? Fix a flat? Uh, grab one fix a flat, one repair kit, <clears throat> one advanced repair kit, and um, all of our trucks are already loaded up with tires, so if you ever use any on the road or any of these supplies, you'll just uh, come down here and stock the truck back up. So that's you're always stocked up. All right, man. I do have some scrap metal and glass and stuff on me. You need this? Can I give you any of this? Yeah, man, if you need it, you can go and throw it in, uh, throw it in there. We'll use it for our parts.
All right, man. I think I got everything I need. Got All right. Count to the so, 50. Thank you, Sam. How you doing? We're going in. Uh, we'll just start you on some basic repairs. Uh, you have any automotive experience? Yeah, man. I tell you, I've been. I, I fuck around in the garage growing up as a kid with my daddy. Uh, you know, I've swapped out 350 Chevys. I've done. Uh, I've done more of my fair share of brake changes. I swapped tires. I mean, okay. I know the old trick when the fuel pump ain't working. Smack the bottom of the. Uh, Smack the bottom of the of the the tank there with a little mallet, and she usually get her run and least you limp her back to the shop. Okay, let me uh, let me go ahead and bring this fan in and. Uh, Sorry to hear that, Sam. See, we we'll do a little trial run and get you familiar with how we do things. All right, man. I just turned them up a little bit, guys, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, dude. <coughs> I'm gonna bring that van inside. All right, man. Test run for you. All right, mate. Gonna know, uh, you want to come over to this passenger side? You're gonna uh, flex that M muscle right up, come right up to that van. And uh, you're gonna go to work. Yep. And uh, vehicle interaction. Go ahead All and right, pull mate. that car jack out of there. Alright, so we gotta lift it up. Uh, go ahead and same thing, vehicle interaction. Then uh, we're gonna do a body repair inspection on it. Then uh, go ahead and do a review on it. And you're gonna go around each corner, each side of the vehicle, and do a quick check on it. reason these like pop right up where you are for some reason so. what's that although the points are over this way they're not all the way around it I think it caught you oh I got you all right so is it uh give you a uh, review on that analysis on what it needs no sir uh, let me try this again just let me uh, I'll try to stay away from okay. it Floor jack like that for my shop, Jeremy says. <laughs> Alright, man, looking like right front door is damaged. Replace the doors we're calling for. Alrighty, so. Right back here, same spot on that uh, storage shelf. We're gonna grab a, uh, a car door. We got a couple made up, assembled, right, ready to go. Let's go ahead and grab one of those guys. All right, then uh, we'll go ahead and start lining that sucker up. We should still have. Hopefully, the bolts are still reusable, and uh, go ahead and pull that out. to go towards the middle. There you go. Good stuff, man. You know, shit. Not that I doubted you, but you picked up on that pretty quick. So, uh, go ahead and uh, lower that jack down like you did. Let me go see what this guy needs. Super strong, guys. 
All right, Fowler, man, I think she's good as new. Awesome. Right on. Well, if you're ever running into any issues, uh, if you want to hop in that van, and then you'll look over to your right, you'll see a uh, little parking spot. Hop in. see a parking spot right around where I just stood. Yep. And uh, you'll be able to square it up right there. So. All right, man. All right, so well, that's pretty much the gist of that part. Let's go ahead and grab a uh, flatbed. We'll get you situated on that. And you should be ready to roll. Y'all got like radio comms I need to be in or anything or nah? Not at the moment. Um, let's, oh, look at that. We got a rental. So we do a lot of rentals. We do some sponsorship rentals. Uh, we do the PCA rentals so that way we can have some donations going to them. Oh, that's cool, we man. U-Haul trucks. We got the whole nine yards. So let me go in. Uh, so let's see. Go in. Uh, go into the garage here and uh, pick that bottom one. That one should be the flatbed. All right. Uh, we'll wait for this guy. I'm gonna go out and pull out into the street on the side over there, and I'll uh, I'll bring the truck out. We'll do a test run. All right, kids, I think we got something here. We got a Peterbilt, Jeremy. We got one, buddy. flatbeds they are very sensitive on the controls I think they put a little bit too much hydraulic fluid in them, to be honest with you but hey better to have more than less huh yeah I uh, noticed the control ahead, for uh, that's right up, I mean they got a release right up by the steering wheel that's just gonna take me a minute to get used to yeah you gotta take it easy on it go ahead and uh go ahead and hit that uh I think it's that down lever with the big down arrow there go ahead and hit those controls I asked for me in the cab no, right here on the side. It's either that down or the up one. I can never remember. I just usually hit one until it goes. I'm not seeing what you're saying, man. I'm hitting there. I don't see it. Keyboard up arrow. Oh, I got you. There, okay. There, okay. There you go. You got a you wear glasses or anything? Are yeah, yeah. Yeah, at least prescription okay. sunglasses. I was are, looking at a restriction on your CDL or no? I do have uh, uh, I do have uh, corrective lenses on my CDL. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's make sure you stay on them. Them uh, CVE guys, man, they're strict out here. Let me tell you. All right. So uh, gonna go up here. Let's come up to this uh, winch. We're gonna unhook this cable. And uh. Do me a favor. Go ahead and check your uh, check your list there, and uh, you're gonna look for a winch control button, and uh, see which one that winch control button is for you. You're gonna have one that's gonna say uh, menu. You're gonna have one that says break. You see it on there? Up in my in my big list. My my big list. Yeah, yeah. Your control list. Uh. Should be your uh, E and B also, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, nope. Don't do anything. Exit out of that. I told you these damn things. They like to run on them. PTO. Yeah, man, them. it is E and B. There's a couple of them, but E and B seems to be like winch and brake winch. Okay, go ahead and put that flatbed back down. All right, so we'll do is we'll come up here 
You're gonna hold that uh, that E button down on the winch. While you're holding it down, you're gonna see a little uh, little marker. You're gonna click with that. We'll have you have you step back a little bit over here. Uh, you click at that winch, and you'll be able to uh, have a point set. And you'll come over to this truck. <coughs> Once you got your first point set, you're gonna go ahead and uh, hit that E button again and hook it up to that tow hook there. You should have two points. Tow hook on the truck? Yep. Anywhere on the truck. There you go. Now come over here and we're gonna wind it in. Then uh, you're gonna see a page down button right there? Yep. Go ahead and hold that sucker down. Now the key with this is to not let it go all the way to the winch because that's how you start damaging trucks. So you want to get it to about halfway up the bed there. Go ahead and hold that lever down. I'm holding her down, man. She stopped at 1.5. Uh, okay, go ahead and hit, uh, hit B. And then uh, go ahead and hook it up from that winch spool up there to the front of the truck. That way you got a little bit more cable length. You don't want to run it too short to the snatch down there. There you go. You can hook that. It's a soft shackle at the end of that thing, so you can hook them up almost anywhere that's a strong point to winch from and get it going. So, actually, I think I understand this a little bit more. Hang on a second. All right. I usually aim for that uh, Jordan logo. There you go. Beautiful. As soon as it gets to the middle, don't hit anything. You're gonna hit that B button. B is a boy, right about there. Right about right there? Yep, gonna break that line off. Go ahead and hit E. There you go. You always wanna make sure you hit that uh, that line break so you don't you know hurt yourself. Those All right, that's will, those cables will snap. And it's over. That's noted, so, man. Uh, make sure you always break your winch cable first before you, you know, strap it down to the bed. How uh, do you always have to be on the bed to use your winch? I notice if I'm holding my no. down my E thing, I can't really move. I can only look and point. No, you can do it from anywhere, wherever you're looking, and wherever you select it from on your screen and your viewpoint, you can select it from anywhere. I mean, here I just press the up, the big up here. Yep. There you go. All right, so go ahead and uh, lower that bed back down. Let's say we're gonna go ahead and get ready to unload it. And uh, go ahead and hop in that truck. So come right over here and see if you can hop up in there. It's not too high. If not, go ahead and hit that uh, that E release button. There you go, nice people to hop into it. Now, a lot of the times I gotta use a snatch block. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm about to hop into it or not. Not too sure why it's acting up, but uh, as far as unloading, uh, you gotta use a snatch block and unload it with the cable. If you're not able to drive it off, obviously, if you could drive a vehicle off, always try to drive them on and drive them off. All right. Uh, as far as any tow, obviously, when we get on scene, what we can do, we can do a quick run. I'll have you do a ride. They don't have one yet, but they will get a call. We can uh, run you through the ropes and uh, do or, a quick rundown. On or the run me through the cables. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, yeah, I'll run you through the cables as long as they're not, you know, birds steel wire, you know, so. Let me uh, let me go ahead and park this Chevy away. Uh, you want to grab that flatbed and uh, park that sucker in the garage. Yeah, man. Pull it back out. Will do. Love you.
Feeling all right? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, what we got here? We got a lot of visitors. Looks like the fuzz, man. Yeah, no, this guy's been pretty good to me since I've been out here. I can't explain it compared to those North Yankee guys. Even though my father worked for him, Shocker. Alright, let me go ahead and pull this Pete out. Blood, epi. English, can you heal me? English, can you heal donor? Right. What happened? So 65. So far, you like it? Yeah, so far so good. I got him. Did I hit nope. you? No, I don't know. I was earlier. Oh. All set, big man. Oh, he's finally starting to take the blood you hung. I'm gonna buy some fireworks and set them off and right, the towing shop. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Mate. No, nope. you're getting his heart rate back. Alright, fellas, how long have you been driving tow truck for, mate? Uh, since I was about six years old. But, wow, uh, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, my grandfather wasted no time on me. <laughs> Thankful for it, I'll tell you that. As much as I couldn't stand, you know, just going to do what I wanted and told me how to go with him all the time. I, Yeah, so these trucks are pretty, pretty clean. We like to keep our trucks clean. So if you get any time where you know you get some free time, wash her up, try to keep her shined up. Just, oh, I hear you there, man. You all got like a local car wash. You guys have like a contract with you preferred us to go to or fuel stations you preferred us to get fuel from? Yeah, usually either fuel or you know in, anyone. I mean, we haven't been here out here long to know, you know if there's any good spots yet. I just use whatever I can find at this point. Hey, Melissa Hughes, how's it going? I'll tell you that these locals are crazy drivers, so beware. Oh man, I tell ya, I know, when I was driving my garbage route, I almost got I almost got arrested one day. I had this guy pull out in front of me and the cop, that one of the city cops, trying to say I, I caused an accident. I said, listen man, this guy right here pulled right out in front of me. Now, you're driving a truck like this, you gotta make sure you have enough room because these things do not stop on a dime. No, they don't. I mean, the Peterbilt does pretty good compared to some of the other ones over the years. But... So, I'll be honest with you, you get calls from all over. We get them from Sandy, Polito, in the city. One of my favorite spots so far is actually right up here. Usually I like to hang out around this area. I'm not driving around, see if I can find anybody in. So what's the process if, let's say, a, local, a civilian calls you tow a vehicle? You bring it back to the shop? Yeah, so basically, obviously it depends on what they need. Uh, Obviously, we want to try to upsell. Thank you for the share, man. I appreciate shop, that. So we can get them up and running. Uh, tire repairs, any flat tires, obviously, we'll change those out. Um, if it's obviously any severe damage, we don't want to be liable. You know, if there's a, any doubt that the vehicle's not operable, we want to let them know that you know we won't provide any service other than tow, just because we don't want the liability of them coming back and saying, oh, they said it was good, and then quarter mile down the road they get into an accident and turn around and come after us so uh, if it's if it's not roadworthy only offer uh, tow services and you know, we're not going to touch the vehicle and try to rig anything oh god these drivers and everyone's on their damn cell phone up. all the time man oh man i'm telling you we won't rig anything up on the side of the road to get them going so they can save money but uh try to upsell the tows i'll uh we get a spot up here. I'll pull this tablet spreadsheet up on pricing. Um, cash is king. Obviously, if they got cash, the better. Uh, if they don't, then you know, we'll have to start billing and invoicing them, which I'll run you through when I do that. Uh, otherwise, if uh, they need a tow, let's say it's not repairable, try to upsell them, bring them back to the shop, and then uh, 
usually I'll, I'll throw a little discount, $50, $100 off, if, uh, if we do the tow and the repair, just to help them out, since they chose us. Uh, I mean, other than that, that's, that's the gist of it. Um, any law enforcement stuff, right now we got a contract with the state, uh, so any, any tows of theirs, uh, we're pretty much just going to not document how, you know, what the tow was, where it was from, and going to, and, uh, that on the back end. All right, uh, so repairs is the same what about so okay? So we're just taking care of them. That's like a monthly thing. They just pay a flat rate. Yeah. So just document any repairs that way. I know you know how active if you are, and make sure you know you get a little something you know, for the extra. Week. What about if they're um, vehicles that need to be impounded? Where do those go? Yeah. So as far as impounds. Uh, well, actually, we'll make our way back over to the shop. I'll show you specifically what parking spot. But uh, so, if we have any impounds that you know they don't want to hold, you know, we'll take those back to our place, uh, and we'll impound that into our yard. Uh, we always put a security fee of three thousand dollars just for impound holds. Now we also tow the vehicle to our shop, so we're gonna throw an extra two fifty on that. So your usual cost is gonna be about thirty-two fifty per impound. Uh, okay. And then once obviously they'll they'll come and pay that to get their vehicle out. And we'll get we'll get the chunk of that. So we also got some income stream, like I said, from the rental side of our business. So we uh, we like to use that as our company events and bonuses for you guys. So there's a lot of incentives for you guys, you know, as employees and operators here. Now are y'all able to? Let's say y'all have an impound comes in and. Uh... You know, let's say owner or the owner goes to jail or something, going to jail for a long time. Do you have the ability to rent out uh, that vehicle? No, unfortunately, we don't have any kind of contracts drawn up for that. Uh, maybe we can go down that road. I like that idea. This may be something we can look into. Or, uh, you know, or we can just auction it off. I know a lot of shops around here ought to just auction them off if they're not, you know, picked up after a certain amount of days. So oh, yeah, man. The impound auction into. probably make a couple dollars for you. No, definitely. Any 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 money we can get, we'll take. Um, as far as any any law enforcement tows, I know I've had a couple calls out here where we'll get called out by the state for someone who didn't have registration. They're not going to let them drive, or their vehicle's inoperable, or anything like that. I don't like to have my guys have the customer ride along, especially if it's something negative like a being towed because the Leo you know, forced them to, whatever have you. So, uh, I, I like to not put you guys in that situation where they ride with you, so uh, usually I'll do it myself, but uh, for the most part, you guys just stay away from that. They'll have to find their own ways. Um, if it's a civilian requested, you know, they call you, they're paying you, obviously, they're more than welcome to. If you feel comfortable, uh, you feel as if there's any kind of risk or that makes sense. Yeah, I don't. I'm not trying to deal with somebody who's all disgruntled and shit. Yeah, no, definitely. We'll, uh, we'll make our way over there. It's been pretty quiet today, so hopefully we'll get something kicking up here soon. So, what's the most expensive car you've ever had to tow? Are there any limitations on this, like? So I know some of them sports cars are pretty low to the ground. No, we don't have any limitations. Um, obviously, for this truck, we don't want to haul a you know, super low super car. On this wow! Thank you, Melissa Hughes, for the two hundred stars. Thank you, Melissa Hughes. I appreciate that. Chocks I had up in the winch, kind of tucked away. I got those set up so that way, you know. Put them underneath. Call here, Melissa Hughes, a first time star setter. Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate that. Thank you. We got a Chevy at the shop, Chevy rollback that went a little lower to the ground, so I like to use that for the smaller stuff. Usually your general SUVs, like you see all these people driving around, it's usually okay with this guy. This is kind of the jack of all trades of trucks for us. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, Peterbilt, man, they make good truck, I tell you. Now, I worked yeah, for a place a while back, they had all internationals, and I'll tell you, well, that right there is a 13-letter shit spreader. <laughs> I don't, you know, I, I like some internationals. I like the, uh, what is it? I forget the name of it. M2? Is that what that model is? The common one around here? 
I like yeah. the M2 series, but that's that's all looks at that point. Yeah, I mean, that Lone Star team makes pretty sweet looking, but at that, my old job there, I was delivering Soto, we had the, uh, for a while we had the DT-466s, and they yeah. were, I mean, those were the old flat nose, uh, the square hood pieces of junk. And then for a while we had the later body style there, the Max Force. It wasn't so bad when they started putting in the uh, the Cummins in them, but the problem with them is, uh, you know, when you work for a big corporation, they you know they buy all the little V6. They're like 260 horsepower, and you put a load on her, but she is working hard just trying to get up up to the speed limit. Yeah, no, I'll tell you this Peterbilt definitely holds it down. There's no issue with power here. Now let me ask you, what do you, uh, you got chains in here or whatever, be able to haul motorcycles or? Yeah, so I like to use straps. I, I got a set of chains in here. We can do motorcycles. Anything that's got wheels, it'll, it'll, we got the equipment to strap them in. Hey, so, Brandon Abner, 20 stars. Uh, Thank you, Brandon. I like I to use that. more of the synthetic lines than the uh, soft shackles. I'm not a fan of the, the chains if I don't have to. Obviously, the heavier stuff, we got to go to the chains but stick with the straps for the easier stuff that don't be too much. Yeah man that's pretty cool. I'm with that. Ah these guys. Always do a uh, periodic check on your uh, your lunch line too make sure you don't have any burrs sticking up on the steel cable. Brandon Abner just became a supporter of Northern Simulation. Man, what the hell is this guy doing? I don't know. He's really gonna sit there. Yeah, I tell you, guys in the city, man, they really, uh, city's a very unique place. I liked it when the boss man would that send is. me out for my garbage route up in this county just because got a little spread out you can see that view or here it's just stop go stop go yeah these guys <clears throat> yeah man some hey, of these, yo bitch get off your phone some of these motherfuckers man i'll tell you they couldn't drive a finger up their ass if you spit on it for them yeah like this lady look at her she's on her phone not even paying attention yeah that's how they get man they get on their fidget too busy playing flippy bird or floppy bird or some shit tetris <laughs> I like the Tetris. I don't mind Tetris. That Jumpy Bird game, that's all right, though. I tell you, you got some downtime. That's hard, man. I tell you, that's a tough one. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's a challenge. Is it on the, uh, on the App Store? Yeah, man. They got it right now for free. I think they're doing a promo on it. Usually at 99 cents, but ain't bad. I'll have to check it out. I'll Jesus. tell you. Some people, man. I'm telling you, man, they're brutal, dude. They're brutal. So you got any, like, direct competition, anyone that we're not supposed to be friendly with? No, I haven't had much interaction out here. I mean, I've been on this side of town. I haven't really came across any other operators, honestly. Well, but towing, keep keep love, it yeah, baby. Civil, I always keep it civil. At the end right. of the day, we all do the same profession, help each other out. 816 you know, day followers, thank you, Trip. Some shit, fair game, but get what you received. Not, no, what not you yet. I know he's going to get some heavy records here soon, but we don't have any yet. Yeah, man, I'll be interested when you uh, end up getting your heavy record back on the road. I'll be down to learn how to operate that and do some big oh, yeah. calls. It's like she sat there just for me to catch the red. Yeah, that's how they get, man. I'm telling you, these people, they're just brutal down here, man. It's brutal. Yeah, we had a nice heavy record, man, rotator. Ooh. That also Pete, or? Uh, no, it was there in International, but, it, man, it did the job, that's for sure. Man, I bet, man. I tell you, they're, uh, they'll tell you, they don't give them away. The price tags on those. I had a, oh, I had a guy once, he got, uh, he got wrecked up there. He had his lift gate down delivering product and, the, uh, I had a guy coming through a cigarette shop and he fucking wasn't paying attention, ran right up the chain to the lift gate, got the car hung up. Well, I don't know. The guy showed up there with a 50 ton rotator 
I don't I mean it was definitely overkill, but he had to lift the car off the chains. Hooked onto the front of her, lifted her up, rotated it right over, man. It was pretty impressive to see, but those things, they don't give them away. They're expensive. Yeah, no. There's one down at the uh, at the auction. It was like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I'd probably been used and abused, man. Those fucking things are not cheap. No. Well, that's a Kenworth too. All right, so if you look over there by that front door, it's gonna be a, that first parking spot. Yeah, one closest to the railing. Yeah, so usually we'll unload them right there. And then uh, Fred is our lot attendant for the impound part. Yeah, he, uh, he'll watch over at night and make sure nobody's trying to steal their stuff out of the car. That Fred right there in the other. orange? Yeah. Hey, Fred. He's, he's kind of one of those, I guess I should say, like, a little different, a little different character. Yeah. Okay. He's a good guy, though. He's yeah, to. but yeah. So we'll offload him right here. We'll get with Fred. And uh, he'll bring out the paperwork. He keeps all the forms on him. So uh, you'll see the uh, inbound, impounding vehicle checkbox there. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, I sure do. Uh, go ahead and check the box for security deposit. Once you do have a vehicle dropped off here, and obviously 3250 is the fee if we got a total. Wow. So we're gonna Thank you, Jacob Cox. Yeah, it's gonna be 3250 basically every time, right? Because we're towing yep. it here. Okay. Now, Jacob Cox 830. A, Thank you, Jacob. I'm gonna get you this actually let me get in there and get that sheet for you. The state's out today, huh? Hey Teresa, grab me that pay the uh what do you call it? Pricing sheet. Let me see. Yeah, that one right there. Let me see that. Oh, I would want to try a little bit of this, so we're going to see how the towing All stuff right. goes. Thank you. I'll give it to him. Christopher Meyer you. with the follow. Thank you, Christopher. All right. Here you go. Hey, right, thanks, man. I appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, on that, that pricing sheet, you'll see it's a lot. Honestly, it's super simple. If you want to go ahead and take a look at it, we'll walk through it real quick. Yeah, man, for sure. Make sure you get glasses on. So, uh, you'll see our vehicle parts pricing on the top. Uh, obviously, you got your body repair, so if you're just your major repair ma or your uh, base repair. Uh, for us, our co our kit, it's got what it costs us to do as well. Uh, I'm transparent with everybody on our pricing as far as who works here. Um, so our body repairs, our kits cost us about fifty. Oh, we just oh, hang on, my phone's vibrating. I just got hired oh, today. Got a call. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and head out there. We'll take off there. We'll come back to that. Ah, right, man, here I'll just toss my uh, coffee in the garbage here. No, you can bring it with you. It's got a lid, right? Yeah, man, it's got a lid. All right. Yeah. Be mindful if you're eating the truck. I don't want any smelly, moldy fries. I hear you there, man. I usually try to uh, when I take my now. Hey, are we are we liable for uh, are we liable for um, hours of service? So when you're driving this guy, yeah. When you're driving that Chevy, uh, they usually don't give us our time. I mean, I don't. That's smaller truck, so it doesn't meet that classification. But when we're on this guy, it's you're you're following HOS. You're in, you shouldn't be running that long anyway. And uh, as far as driving, obviously, they, you know, kind of days get long. But, you all do any like late night like upcharges, let's say emergency response, like if you're on call, like how do you guys handle that or is it just flat across the board? Um, it's usually flat. Um, uh, you still got that sheet with you, right? You yeah, you? yeah, I got it. Okay, so if you look on there you'll see your standard tow. Um our base, just regular tow fees two hundred dollars within Los Santos. And obviously, if anything goes down for Sandy and Polito, um, any kind of winching other than winching to get it onto the bed, it's inoperable. It's going to be a $500 fee. Um, just
because of the liabilities. If anything happens, might as well make some more money while we're at it. So uh, anything that's got any winching from accident recovery, rollover, stuck on a guardrail, anything like that, you're going to charge that $500 fee. So uh, that's kind of your, your upcharge there, I guess you should say, for any hours of the night. Um, if it's like a rush call, you know, we'll throw an extra $100 on it, depending on how busy we are. Right, man. Again, I don't, I don't like to overcharge people too much sometimes, especially starting off. People are going to know us for that. So. Well, I imagine most of my body and engine repairs here and that stuff, that's going to be mostly purchased from the shop store. Or is that all yep. that in? Okay. That's, uh, that's what we're going to be. I mean, we have all those parts on that storage shelf that we saw earlier. Yeah. So everything should be in there that you need. Uh, Fred does a pretty good job of keeping that stock on his downtime. So. But otherwise, you know, each one of those items on that sheet, if they need a door, let's say they rip the door off, they need a hood or a whole new tire, then you're going to mark it all up and get it. So, now, the vehicle repair kits quick. that you had, is that just going to get it running and then you got to put the body parts on after? Yeah, so that's going to get the vehicle up and running. So that's going to be under your engine repair and body repair is going to fall under that. Okay, okay. Um, as far as your roadside repairs, uh, we do sometimes have our minor repairs, you know, a coolant line will blow off or whatever it is. I think we missed our turn up here. But uh, if you get any kind of minor repair that you can do on the side of the road. That, oh, I think that's him right there on the side, man. Wasn't that the call, 723? Yeah, I think so. Oops, okay. Let it back up. But yeah, we'll... Uh, if it's any kind of minor repair, you'll have that repair kit on you. And then you'll see that uh, roadside repair fee. If, All right, man. If it's a regular repair, we'll be good. If it's a tire, obviously you're going to charge them for that repair on the tire, too. So it'll be that tire cost plus the roadside cost. All right, man. All right, let's go ahead and hop out and see what this guy's got. How we doing? Got your time? Oh, yes. There we go. You know, How you doing? What's going on here? I'm worried about what's going on here. It's my vehicle. Oh, well, you just I'm got just a kidding. little attitude. No, we got in a pursuit. Uh, oh, I got you. I Is it just not running? Without push bar. Oof. Yeah. I bet. Is it? Is, oh, yeah. I see the damage over here. Oh, oh, hell yeah, damn. Holy cow, oh, you man. really beat this sucker You hit it with up. the front of the car or the back of the car, man? <laughs> yeah. I don't know who hit me from behind me, but I, I put him on this corner up here. You gotta be careful who's wow. hitting you from behind, I tell you. Giggity. If I say so myself, that's a perfect fit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, well, I only got two seats in there. Since I got him with me, do you have someone coming to pick you up? Just bring the seven. Okay, we're gonna take it back to the station. All right, man. You want, want me to take this one? Yeah, you wanna go ahead and drop that bed? Yeah, man, for Start sure I do. Her up. You got the keys in here? No, you can't ride in it. You go ahead and hop out. All right, go ahead and watch her up. God damn, there's a lot of cops over here. Remember to uh, take that line off before you attach it to the bed with stripes. That's good right there. Go ahead and that. Nope. There you go. Hit e. There you go. You got it. Right on. All right, hop in the driver's seat. You're driving. Go, 
good stuff for your first time. We're gonna go all the way down. We're gonna have to turn around up in Sandy. All right, man. Go ahead, turn the lights off. Locals get crazy, I'll tell you. I know them AAA guys, they like to drive around with their lights on all the time, too. They're special. Get a little crazy out here. We may get some more calls. Who knows? Yeah, man. No, it's pretty neat, dude. I like it, man. I got a buddy of mine. Uh, forgot his uh, first, last name. His name was Jordan. He, he drives a tow truck. He, sometimes he just kind of fucks off, but you know he ain't a bad guy. Yeah. I don't know if he's interested, we'll maybe hire him here soon. Is that your phone going off or is that mine? No, it's mine. Oh, Hello? Man, we got the same damn ringtone, mate. Oh, yeah. Yep, this is Autos. How can we help you? Hello? They're not even like damn prank calls. Oh, yep, I can hear you breaking up a little bit. Hang on, go back to that spot where we just were. You're breaking up again. Yeah, I lost him. He's got a bad signal. Now, do we have to go all the way down to the the freeway overpass to get back on the nor north part of uh, of uh, uh, Sonora Freeway? Or this? Take a look and see where they stand. Put a computer right here. We'll see if uh, the state guys are. Usually whenever I do toast for these guys, I'll break it over to the left there. Oh, it's calling back in there. Hang on. Yeah, we can move it over. Okay, yep. Uh, give us about five minutes, we'll be there. We're uh, headed back to the state station. We got a call right now, so we'll head on over there. So give us about five minutes, all right? All right. Thanks, mate. So how far is a winch pull on this? Like, if you've got somebody off, like, an embankment, can you actually pull them up, or how do you do it? Do you have to drop a point, like, down on the vehicle and then put a snatch block up on the top part of, like, a lip? Um, so usually a snatch block, um, probably about 20 feet, I believe. All right, all right. Uh, I got a little bit longer rope about two weeks ago, which means made it a lot better, but, uh, Usually we'll do a snatch block if it's getting too long. That'll double your towing capacity. Yeah, go ahead and see. Yeah, let's see if there's any steak in this here. Go ahead and flip the lights on. Yeah, go right. Yeah, go ahead. Fair. Usually I try not to do that when they're around. You usually do this in the back or you bought them in the side lot? Uh, if you want to pull up straight ahead, and then we'll just put it on the side of this building right here. I know these guys have their uh, in house shop. Right here in the right front the or on the okay on the no, side on the side yeah we got another call we got to move a uh, vehicle out of the roadway Don't really know. please go ahead and pull forward a little bit that's good right there. Gonna see if she starts up when she lower that bed. Jumper. Yeah, man, I can't get inside this thing. Yeah, let me, uh, let me let's get this snatch block over here. You're gonna put that, uh, go ahead and put that bed up. Work on it. Alright, so let's go ahead and head down to 1004. Well, uh, you want me to drive or you to drive? Okay. I can drive if you want. It's up to you. 
Oh, I'll go drive down there, man. I'm cool. I like okay, driving okay. a big truck. Oh, sorry. So where do you document your uh, your toes for this? Uh, so, hang on, let me grab, let me get this little board up on your seat. Well, same thing here. Would you say it was 1,005? Yeah, 1,004. I'm gonna run down to 68 because this thing wants me to GPS wants me to cut through that dirt road and I don't know if you yeah, want me to no, go off road. Yeah, no, we'll stick to street. We're just gonna have to get filled a little bit more. But if it's uh, along the route, here's it throw an extra 50 in order and fuel onto the uh, invoice so that way it covers it. So on uh, on this clipboard here, I know you're driving, but I'm just with you so you can listen. But, uh, You'll just notate the plate, obviously who it is, if it's a department or civilian request. God damn, yeah, there's another ambulance. Uh, if it's a tow, roadside, whatever have you. Uh, recovery, whatever the uh, service is that they're requesting. And, uh, if you have any other operators on site, if they help to you, uh, you're also going to do a vehicle damage check. And make sure if there is any damage on the vehicle to notate it before we move it. That way they can't come back to us and we damage it. We can take pictures even better. I already notated that state one on here, so I'm gonna get there. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Pretty, pretty straightforward. I know it takes a long time to get a ten minutes, so it's like good efficient. Now, as far as the fuel for the trucks, that's something you reimburse, or is that just what we kind of cover for the day for the truck? Yeah, so we'll just uh, keep all the receipts, and you'll turn them into to reset the front office that you saw there that gave me that pricing sheet. And uh, she'll, she'll give them to me, and we'll get you reimbursed and balanced out. Okay, okay. Still waiting on our new company, MX's, to kick in. I'll tell you, relocating is rough. Well, I bet, man. Yeah, we use a site called, uh, we use a site called Concur to pay off all of our, well, my old job, all of my Amex charges and stuff. I had to oh, keep yeah. all the receipts, upload them online. It was the old process, and my supervisor had to approve them. Yeah, I like Concur. It makes it easy. Just take a picture of the receipt, upload it. Obviously, put Google and uh, expenses. That's that. Got these guys. It's a broken line. You can pass them. Yeah, yeah, I got a vehicle coming at me, though. Yeah, I see. A little foggy, but. Nice signal light, man. Nice signal light, dude. Good job, but you win today. Yep. Yep. Hello? Autos, how can we help you? Oh, how you doing? Yep, we're on the way right now. I got uh, I got myself and one of my other operators on the way. We're uh, passing Route 68, uh, Joshua Road. Sir, I apologize for the delay. All right, take care. Yeah. Jesus, these guys are impatient. I got another call. Auto's towing. How can I help you? Good, good. How you doing today? 
doing all right. What uh, what kind of service are you looking for? Okay. Is it operable or no? Okay. Well, uh, we're up in the north side of town, uh, around Route 68, in the middle of near that creek. If you know where that's at. Uh, so it'll be a couple minutes, but we'll head down there. All right. Appreciate your patience. Take care. So let's we say another one. let's say when when you are able to cut me loose, let's say we're both running. Got a little stuck in my emotions there. Oh, it's all, it's all right, man. I thought you were just fucking with me there. I wasn't sure. Uh, <laughs> so let's say we're uh, let's say we're running together. You know, you you got a truck, I got a truck. Now they contact you. Take all all front of the office calls from Teresa, and then would you just contact me and delegate me to call or? Yeah, so if you see a call, because it'll go, we all get a message, and uh, so whatever, yeah, keep, keep your lights on, just keep down there, these guys are the ones that are being a little impatient, but uh, if you get a message that comes up, by all means go ahead and mark it that you're going to in route, uh, I'll be able to see it with our CAD, so uh, yeah, just mark it as in route, and yeah, whatever you see, if I see anything that I need to help with or anything, or if you need help with, we'll just get in contact with each other. Are we towing this completely? Yep. Oh, just, uh, real quick, check. before we get it towed, um, it just needs to be searched by PD. I can't search it, but I've been waiting here for a while. For oh, all right, my got to be searched. All right. Uh, are we able to snatch block that over to the side? Do we get on the other side yeah, of it? Yeah, you can just park on the side. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to pull up to that emergency lane, you just hook the winch up to it and just spin it over. It's the rear tire. It's a PD wall. unit. Okay, so I can pull now, up so. on the side of the road right here and winch it over? Yep. All right, man. Yeah, you let the PD unit know I'll way. pull over and I'll go over and move it for you. Kevin. Yep, you got it. That's good right there. Now you got to put your flatbed back with the winch, or you got a rear winch on this thing as well? No, I got a rear winch. Alright. I don't know if that cable's long enough on that winch, though, so we'll have to see. Alright, man. Uh, we will. We're just we were told to wait, so as soon All right, as cool. ready, we can take it back to our info. Man, this will be a pretty popular haircut down these parts. I know, right? Yeah, it looks like a million bucks. It'll be on a oh. calendar. <laughs> Seems to grow his beard out a little bit more like mine. So you feel comfortable enough for me to leave you on your own? Yeah, man, I think I can swing this. Do you want me to run the big boy, or you want me to go back and grab the, grab the yeah, Chevy? Yeah, no, you can keep running this guy. I got another All right. back at the shop. All this right, uh, sure. Cadillac's clean. You guys are good to hook it. Okay. All right, man. So we're I just... don't, I've never had to tow a vehicle before, so... Um, all right, so as far as you guys, 
BCSO, we usually just send the invoice if we have any. Um, obviously, we're going to impound it at our yeah. lot since it's clean, so uh, we usually just put the charges on the owner. Are they still alive? Or? No, they're deceased. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is at that point, so unless someone comes to claim it, they'll have to pay for it uh, next to Ken, or we'll All just right. end up auctioning it off, so you guys are good. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, man, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this right ahead, here. hook it up, bring it down to our shop, and impound it there for thirty-two fifty. and then uh, who, are you going to build BCSO uh, for the tow? Or? Now, I remember you got that uh, that winch you just had to do to clear traffic, too, so it wasn't part of loading, so you can throw an extra uh, oh, yeah, 500 yeah, on there. Oh, yeah, 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 sir, all right. Now, yeah, do I do so. my invoice, bring through my, my magical M menu there in the truck? Uh, you won't, we won't be billing them. Uh, we'll just hang on to the truck and... All right, yeah, I'll have to go through invoicing with you exactly how to do it. But I'll get this hooked up. Let me pull ahead, drop my uh, my bed, and I'll get her loaded up and get her down to uh, 227. Sounds good. All right, man, thanks. I gotta say, guys, this is kind of sweet. I'm not gonna lie, not hating it. Let's we'll see how many calls we get tonight doing this. So you're looking at Kevin Mack. I done took a little change of pace. Yeah, a little change of pace, man. Well, Kevin Mack did the garbage company for a little while, but. This is nice. You get the interaction with the people. You're out here doing good work, you know. The pay's good, you know. Almost $75 an hour, you know what I mean? So you can't really hate it too much. I like singing in my truck, you know what I mean? Well, I love Vermont. I love Vermont, but it's the season of the sticks. I saw your mom. But she forgot that I existed. And it's half my fault. Cause I like to play the victim. I'll drink alcohol till my friends come home for Christmas. And I dream each night of some version of you that I might not have, but I did not lose your tire tracks and your pair of boots as we split in half that'll have to do 
got the new car pile Something good on all my bad I can't throw out the darkness I inherited from dad I'm no longer funny Cause I miss the way you laugh You used to call me forever Now you still can't call me back I'm not really sure Why my textures are gone But I'm probably still gonna try To call your mom I don't use a steering wheel, man. Uh, I'm using a controller. You can use steering wheel in 5M, but you gotta have, uh, you gotta have, um, there's a mod they have to put on the back end of the server in order to use it. I could probably use it for towing. At least it's hard, because you're in and out. You gotta have a controller ready to be able to run. I don't know how the functions work with it, so I don't know. But it'd be fine to use for this. Lago, hey, what are you doing? Look at you in that big boy truck. Actually, believe it or not, Lago, I do have a, a real life CDL and I do drive big boy trucks. On occasion. I don't like to do it all the time, but I'm fully licensed and capable and have driven. Big boy trucks. Hey, Millie Mill. <laughs> Alright, man. Well, when I get off of this, if you're still on, I'll play some zone with you. Oh, you can't really vent too much on GTA. Well, you can a little bit, but... You can bet that I stand ready. When the wolf howls at the door, hey, I'm strong, and I'm ready, and I'm true down to the core. I will always do my duty. No is on the radio anymore. Uh, so they haven't put toe on the radio ch frequency yet. I don't know when they're going. Oh, shit. We got to get over in this lane. You can bet that I stand ready. When the wolf howls at the moon. At the door. Well, it howls at moons, too. Do you got a deed? I'm a die. If I was bleeding, I would buy. La la pee, I'm a die. So how was everybody's week, guys? I didn't have a bad week. I had to... It was a busy week, though. It was a busy week. Kind of got my fingers crossed. I'm trying to go for a group coach network. I don't know if I'll get it or not. But... All right. They're not sure if they're going to keep the position active or if they're going to do away with it. They don't know. But it would allow me a little bit more time for streaming. A lot more time with my family. And just all in all, be a different... All in all, just kind of be a different atmosphere. Do, do, 
Not drop this thing right in the Yeah, Kevin, you want to grab that other Peterbilt and yeah, man. Uh, head down to that other call, and I'll take care of this one. I'm getting this guy's cars fixed. Yeah, up. what's the postal on the other on the other call? Uh, also, do you want me to give you my uh, phone number? Do you want that? Yeah, I need to get that from you. Uh, it's gonna be a 380. I don't know if you got it or not. I shared my contact with I you. I think I did. I don't know where it went though. Oh man, I'll just go ahead and got it now. Uh, no, let me here go ahead and try again. Hmm, that's where it didn't go through. Let me uh, let me just write it down. Uh, let's see here. It's probably five five three, right? Yeah, man, five five three, three seven six, eight three seven. You said uh five five three three seven six eight three seven. Yes, sir. All right, I uh, will call you real quick so you save mine. It'll be ringing. Hello. There we go. All right, man. All right. Alrighty. Yeah, that uh, that call was to 380. Um, over the freeway is what the uh, report says. Oh shit! I'm not trying to call you. I'm trying to add you in my in my phone book here. Okay. All right. Let me start getting you ready. Hey, Watson. Damn it. What was his number again? 380. Uh, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Una Pluma. Got 5536493067. Five, five, three, guys, right? 380? Pretty sure he said 380. I guess that's one way to get in tow truck.
All right, guys, we're on to another call. Postal 380 for a sheriff cruiser. Head on down there and get a little work in. Damn it, dude, I don't have a fucking... Over there on that street. Son of a bitch. Alright guys, we're pulling up on scene now to, uh, this vehicle needs to be towed. Hey there, feller. Hey there, feller. All right, man. Well, hey, you just talk to me when you're ready. All right? I'll get this thing hooked.
done good, man. Watch out. I'm gonna pull this thing up. I just, just got, come on, lady. Settle down a little bit. Jesus Christ, lady. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to grab it again, man. Unfortunately, that lady bumped into me and threw my truck out of whack. Nah, you good. All right, man. Where does where's this thing gotta go? Uh, stand by. Let me ask. All right, man. I'm just gonna pull the truck on the side of the road here. All right. Hello. Hey, Kevin, you doing all right on that call? Yeah, man, we got her all hooked up. She's in the middle of the roadway there at a local, get a little greasy under her skin, but we're good. I'm just asking this uh, sheriff guy where this car is going. Okay. Is it a, uh, what kind of tow is it? Is it a law enforcement? Yeah, it's a law enforcement canine. Uh, Lincoln belongs to BCSO. Okay. As, uh, let them know, hey, that, you know, we'll, we can do repairs too if they want us to bring it back and. Right, yeah, let me hop out. I'll, I'll talk to him real quick. All right, I'll let him know. All right, how bad is it? I mean, the front tires are gone on it completely. Got some, a little bit of body damage. Oh, I see you. I'm down here below you on the freeway. I was trying to catch up to you. Oh yeah, I came down on the freeway too, but it was up on the uh, up on the overpass. So yeah, okay. I'll, I'll yeah, let them know if, what they uh, want to do, man. I'll talk to him. Alrighty. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey there, big man. All right, he said if possible, uh, up to Sandy Station. Uh, yeah. But if, if you have any other ideas, I mean, we, I mean, we, I we do repairs. We can gladly right. bring this back to the shop, put the tires under the body work, get it back going for y'all. Okay, where's the uh, where's your guys' shop? Body shop's over at 227. All right, I'll give you one sec. Yeah, man, no problem. I'm gonna move out of the way. I think this fella's yeah. trying to get through. I'll just, I'll get out of your way, you pull ahead. What do you guys think, chat? Give me some feedback on the uh, on the tow side. I he just wants to take it back to the station. I, we might end up totaling it. So. All right, man. No problem. I'll, my supervisor's pulling him now. I'll let him know we'll head up to Sandy Station. Drop it off for you. All right. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, no problem, man. You got it. Thanks for calling Autos Towing. All right, stay safe out there. You too, big hat. Yeah, man, doggone it. They want me to bring that up there to Sandy Station. They said they might total it out, so. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty rough. Yeah. All right, I man. Ooh, yeah. All yeah. right, yeah, if you want to run it up there, oh, um, man. see if one of their command members is on duty. Uh, we'll have to bill them. Uh, if you want to do it, pull up your uh, tablet there and do uh, hit that invoice button. Uh, 
on the T slash invoice. Hang on, man. I'm trying to get this phone to shut off. All right, man. Yeah, I see the invoice. Yep. All right. Um, so, do you see anything for create invoice? Yes, I do. All right. So go ahead and hit that, and it's gonna automatically go to whoever you're standing near. Okay. Obviously. So uh, you'll just put in the title. Obviously, the service. So you put a uh, Elio tow from LS to Sandy Shores, and then uh, whatever the tow press is on the sheet. I right, mean, uh, just put the date on the I, notes. Okay, and I so the item is Elio tow from uh, LS Sandy Shores, and put the price in the notes to date. And I just got to be standing next to a command member to give this to him. Yeah, you give it to them, or maybe one of their deputies if they want to get reimbursed from their own department, since it is their own unit. All right, and, man. Uh, make sure you note the plate on there too for law enforcement. Put the, okay under notes with the date. Yep. Yeah, right, uh, plate and date. All right, man. That's a Texas size ten four. All righty. See ya. I think it's going to be pretty busy, guys. We're going all the way up here to the PD station. Stay in your lane, feller. So right now, guys, we're running this uh, K-9 Sheriff unit. Looks like tire is shot right out on it. On the road again. Yo, what's up, Mark Hardtop Smith? How you doing, man? I'm just out running a little bit of towing. I got a new job working for Autos Towing and Repair. I'm a tow operator. Um, also, been getting a little training on how to repair vehicles, so we might be doing some road roadside stops here too, as needed. 
changing tires, repair kits, body work. Oh, Mark, I'm glad to hear that, man. Thank you. No, nope, we're heading down. It would be nice, so I'm looking forward to getting into, hopefully, to get the radio chatter up. Right now, it's just a Watson that I run in this tow. Um, another thing I might, I might have to do at some point, guys, I don't know if you guys are going to like it, so let me know in the chat. I uh, think in a couple of the guys, we might join the volunteer fire department. We might actually work with the fire, fire guys a bit. All right on, Mark. I appreciate that, man. How's the stream looking for you? Does it look pretty good? Man, I'm happy to hear that, dude. Howdy, Father. Howdy, Father. Who's a good boy? You good boy? Oh, you said you good boy. I, I ain't gonna pet you till you're. I know, I know, but I can't pet you till your daddy tells you I can. I don't want you to get all fired up. I know you working dog sometimes. I know you good boy, though. You look like you want belly bunch. Oh, come here, little boy. Yeah, who's a good boy, huh? Who's a good boy? Your daddy busy? What's your daddy doing? Woof, woof. Woof. Yeah. Yeah, you good boy, huh? You want to mind, you mind nibbling on Papa's leg there and get his attention? I need someone to sign this invoice for this toe there, fella. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. I'm glad that you that you. All right, there's Watson's thing here. So this was gonna be. It's going to be this is a standard tow, Los Santos, Sandy Shores. That's $300, so it's a $300 tow. That's what it costs. Yeah, good boy. Hey, I'm going to go over and check my truck. Okay, when you get that feller's attention, you let me know. I'll drop him an invoice, all right? You just keep being a good boy. Okay. All right, well, maybe I'll Oof. just... 
I'll ring the buzzer there and get a command member so I can uh, I can get this. Let me go over and grab my plate. Oof. Yeah, good boy. Hey, feller. Hey, feller. Yo. Hey, man. Listen, I got to. Uh, I got that car I picked up up there, 380. I didn't know where y'all wanted me to drop it at, and then I'm just going to grab the plate information out from it, and then I need to know who I can build the invoice to. Uh. I can either bill it to you, and then you can uh, go ahead and have your command re, you know, uh, reimburse you, or you can call a command member down, and I can bill them. I mean, I usually protocol it. I got to do the invoice before I can drop her. Okay, well, this is a command member here, but I don't know if he's inside or not. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's a busy little bear. I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna grab my plate information real quick for my notes for the invoice, and then I'll come back over. All right. All right. This car right here gonna be a uh, '69 Edward Michael Zebra. So it's gonna be '69. Edward Michael Zebra 151 I mean feller if y'all sure you're gonna get to be able to take care of the invoice I can start dropping this till that guy gets uh he might be talking to his mama or something you know yeah can you invoice the department yeah, possible. I mean, I can call my boss. I think he said I got to be standing next to somebody, send them a direct invoice. But I, okay, I can call him and fine. ask him. He you, said you can, you can give it to me. I'm just gonna. All right, fell here. Come dollar. back here, man, and I'll get you squared away. And I'm gonna just make them tip me. It's fine. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I respect it. There you go, feller. You get that? Uh, I don't know. All right, man. I don't know if I got it or not. How do I check that? Oh, man, got me. Hang on. I'm gonna step away from you for a second. I gotta click something. I don't want that to hit you in the mouth. I'll try this again one more time. I just don't know where in my eyeballs I should be looking for this invoice to come up. Should pop it. I'll try a different way. You need to also do a uh, forward slash invoice. Uh. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. You already got it? Uh, is it? I have a camel toe invoice in here. Oh, no, that ain't me, man. That's auto. <laughs> okay. What, did you get it? You want me to resend Autos. it? Yeah, I see it. You got it for $300? Yeah, let me take a let me take a picture of this and then I'll uh, send it to my guys. All right, man. Yeah, I got it. I'll get it paid. All right, big cat. Let me. Uh, where do you want this thing parked at? Uh, if you want to park it next to my cruiser, uh, we'll get it moved around. Have some tires on. Here, this is your cruiser right here. This uh, charger. 
Yeah. Or you want it parallel with it? Yeah, just on the passenger side of it, that's fine. All right, man, that's going to be a little careful. I'll be blocking the roadway, but I can take care of that for you. I appreciate it. All right, man, no problem. Said he can pay it. Said he can pay it, Justin. I have no forward gear, Watson. Is space like a parking brake? Space is a parking brake. Space bar, it's a it's a fucking parking brake, man. Jesus Christ, man. Hey, feller. Yeah, man, I can't do it parallel in the parking spot. If I block the road, the fucking locals are outrageous. Can you park right here in the alleyway, man? All right, man, we'll do. All right, man, y'all all set, fellers? Thank you guys yeah. so much for contacting uh, Otto's Towing again. I was telling the feller there at 380, I think it might have been you there, Mr. Man, but if you guys ever need stuff repaired or anything taken care of, we do uh, all body work, engine repair, tire replacement. We can take care of all that right at the shop at 227. Good job, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, man, you all have yourself. Let me decide what I got to do. Uh, I already gave the invoice there to the guy there in the blonde. I think you might have hey, been in your talking, head. I can't hear you, partner. You can't hear me at all? Oh, uh, now we can, yeah. All right, man. Yeah, like I said, I uh, I was going to say... You, if you sound like you're talking in a tunnel. Well, that's weird. Okay, hang on a second. Any... Oh, now it's better. And better now? Oh, uh, no, it sounds like you're muffled. That is, that is absolutely horse shit. I can't hear you. All right, give me a second, fellas. Appreciate it, though. Can you all hear me now? Oh, God, yeah, okay. All right, you guys all right? Yeah. All right, like I was saying, guys, uh, you guys ever need any repairs done, you go bring rat. You know, we can tow right from the sh right from the scene down to the 227 and do all repairs on site as well if you all ever need it done. All right, I appreciate it. All right.
right, thank you, man. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Have a have a great day. Thanks for calling Auto Stowing. Bye, good boy. Yeah, you good boy. You good boy. Hey, Kevin. Hey, man. Listen, I got them all squared away. I sent the invoice there to, uh, I think, Mueller. I don't know. Did they pay that on the spot or is that something they pay later? Uh, I'm not too sure. I'd have to. Let me take a look at it real quick. Hang on. Yeah, I mean, he accepted it. He, under, he you know, he understood he got it, so. Uh, let's take a look here. Yep, he paid it. Uh, 300 K9 Tahoe. Leo Toe LS to Sandy, I see you here. All right, man, right on, dude. Well, I'll be out and about. All righty. Let me know if you need anything. All right, thank you. Ready, bye. Bye. Hang okay, on, we might get a couple more toes in, and then we're probably gonna head over here to War Zone up. What's up, Tristan? How you doing, dude? Give up being an officer, law? No, I'm still there, man. I just wanted to try something different, dude. And I know Watson started a towing company, and I've been wanting to do tow truck and do roadside repairs. I figured it'd be something, something cool. So, gave it a shot. Here we are. Oh, Tristan, yeah, man. A little out of time, buddy. It's all you can do. So far, I like it, man. It's fun, dude. Been moderately busy. I'm I'm looking forward to when we get the heavy heavy duty trucks in. We can actually do like some heavy wrecker services and stuff. I think that'll be cool. The winching system's pretty neat. All right, do beverage delivery. Yeah, I'm sure there's a job somehow to do it. We're just going to stop here and grab a little bite to eat.
I haven't used the Chevy. Chevy's going to be the same style as this. It's going to be a rollback, smaller vehicle. And then we have a Silverado, which is like your roadside. We have bigger accident and stuff, roadside repair. And then we have a repair van we can go out and do repairs on. We do gotta go to the bank, they'll get some money out. There's banks gonna be down here. So they usually try to run this and route over, you know, the, the Chevy. This is like a jack of all trades. The Chevy's more for your lighter variety of vehicles. Hello. Hey, Kevin. Hey, what's up, Watson? Hey, uh, I got a call for a uh, tow motor vehicle accident, blue Honda at uh, 103. If you want to take it on? Yeah, man, I can do that. 103, and pull over and put that in the GPS. Alrighty. Yeah, Battalion Chief Moyer called in, so they needed it out of the way. So yeah, no problem. Sure 103. I think I already worked on that guy's car, so if he wants to uh, get it repaired again, we're more than welcome. Yeah, not a problem. I'll head down there right now. Let me circle back onto the highway. All right. I'll meet you down there with the pickup. All right. Thanks. Head down, pick ourselves up a little uh, blue Honda on the road or to an MVA. I've always thought about doing rollback work. I've never, I've never driven tow truck or anything like that before in real life. So I, th I thought about it though. Used them, you know, when we were younger before I could drive to snatch up cars, demo cars, stuff like that. But
You see me rolling, patrolling. This might be our last call, guys, and I'll hop over and grab some zone. What time is it? It's 12 o'clock. I fucked up big time today, guys. I fucked up big time today. So my wife and my son went to a kid's birthday party, and I was, I, you know, I was tired. I got up this morning at like 4.30. I, I had a long day. I was tired. And I was like, you know, I'm going to take a little nappy. I'm going to take a little nap nap. You know what I mean? I got home. I got my hair cut. Got home probably, oh, God, I don't know, probably 3.30. Went down from a nap. Probably quarter to four. I was like, I'll sleep till like maybe 5.30. Alarm went off. I said, you know what, just a couple more minutes. And I turned my alarm off. And I slept until 8 o'clock tonight. So I took a almost four-hour nap. You don't take four-hour naps in the middle of your day. That's not what you want to do. That's a bad time. So I might be on a little bit later than I want to be tonight. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be taking a four-hour nap. So yeah, I'll be paying the consequences for that. Hi, fellers. Are you driving, looking at your phone? Oh, no, I don't have a phone in my hand. You're pretty uh, fixated on your hand right there, sir. Is that better? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, it wasn't my eyes. Am I okay to back up here to that, um, what are you, fucking cop or something, man? Settle down now. Uh, you, uh, you need me to back up here that, you know, good to back up to that now or what? Well, I mean, you're asking the fire department, so I don't know. Well, all right. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure the battalion chief, one who called, and said they wanted it picked up out of here. What is a battalion? All right. What's what's all right. battalion? All right. Clearly. You know, what a is? You know, I'll be honest oh, with you guys. I was like I always like firemen okay. more than cops, but apparently, I was wrong. Hey, look! You know, you ask for a cop, and one shows up behind me. There you go, sir. Oh, he's walking uh, away. Too yeah. late. Um, Am I good to back up this some bitch or what? I'll come. Right. Go talk to those guys over there. The right. one that's got the air I'll tell you on. what, these guys right here, man. Fucking a. You volunteer yeah. some bitches. Am I good to back up Are this thing, Scooper? Yeah, they're giving me a hard time. This guy here with this uh, little baseball cap on thinks he's Billy Big Rig over here. Do I need to get uh, in that truck and show you how it's done? But I got more miles oh, in reverse than you got going forward. You understand, son? Hey, bro. Pitter patter. All right. Am I good to back up this slut hooker and go or what? <laughs> You gotta go talk to those guys over there in the white shirt. Oh, sucker, I tell you what, it's like oh fucking watching monkey God. fucking football. Is it what? Oh, okay. That way. Here, Kevin. Come on. Well, there's a guy white shirt over there. I just didn't know. Hey, fellers. How are you now? Hey, man. Am I good to hook on on this thing here? You guys want me to scoot out this Honda? Uh, give me. Let me take a picture of this license plate. Also, whereabouts are we bring this thing to? Alright. Uh, that's up to this gentleman. He's uh, gonna be flipping the bill. Oh, you big cat. My name's Kev, man. I work for Auto Stone on there. Uh, if you... your name is what? My name's Kev. Kevin Mack. Ke uh, I'm Kevin Gay. Oh, man, Kevin. You know what? You seem like a nice yeah. fella. I like you. Huh. They say Two Kevin's Kevins? are good guys. I heard that. Yeah, I was talking to my boss here about I had a manager at Old John named Travis. That guy was a dick. Huh. Yeah, I mean, something. People with the T is normally yeah, you're you telling know, me, I man. I said the same damn thing. Yeah, man, I tell you, I had my GM at my old job. His name was Travis, and my assistant GM, his name was Thomas. And them two, I tell you what, they would pit. They, oh man, they pissed me off more than two pecker billy goat. Oh, I haven't heard that saying since '94. 
Yeah, I mean, I've been here on the block a time or two, you know. Uh, so what's this feller's name here at the blue Honda? Ah, uh, man, you, uh, you want this thing fixed up? Want to bring her down 227 there and get you all squared up? Or where are you on her? Yeah, I guess. Oh, sure. All right, well, if you guys are all set, I'm going to back on up and go ahead and give her the old quick snatch and grab, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Chief, uh, am I going to give this guy a ride at 227 if he needs it? Back down yeah, the car? Yeah, just, uh, oh, I'm going to back her on. Just make going. sure you don't have nothing on him. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll pat him down real quick. And... Pretty cute with that white hat on. Team, we're going we're gonna to give you a ride to your car. Right Can't afford me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. Most of the fire guys I ever met been decent folk, but this one fella in the yellow hat, man, he got a lot of mouth on him. Hey, sir, sir. Just so you know, I can do a lot right more here. than just talk, too. Right here, sir. sir, you're a little off center. Sir, how many straps are you gonna put on this? You got a CDL, sir? I sure do, does. man. Sure do. Why don't, you know, if I wanted to listen to the goddamn peanut gallery, I'd get a job working for the fire department. I mean, we're always hiring. I mean, you know, we get cool shit like this. Would you like me to wash your truck? Man, hang on a second now. <laughs> Jesus. You alright? He did a good job, he deserves a raise. Yeah, it's gonna be a 40, 40 zone. God damn, I think my hydraulics might have went out. I can't get my tilt come up for me now. Alright, Mr. Oh, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll take care Yeah, that seems to be the problem. I've, I've seen it one time on a movie. Me too. <laughs> oh no, you're good, man. Um, yeah, yeah, you can. Engine's pretty bad. So you're gonna Did he have blow a line? Let's we'll see. 500 body work. I'll do 600 again. So 1100, 1200, about 1300 dollars all in. All right. Man, I tell you what. Oh yeah, right here. You got her. Hey, uh, yeah, the. Uh, the cap was loose. Oh man, I tell you, but that ain't go. All right, try that. See if you can lift it up now. Man, I'm make sure I got my master on inside the cab. I don't know. She ain't coming for me. That is not OSHA nor NFPA. What? What trooper? Can you uh, pull forward, sir? Oh, there, what, there, he had it there. There you go, sir. All right, glad we could be of some help. Guy take it down there. I'll have him work on it, and then uh, we'll get you situated, and uh, hopefully we'll be ready by the time you get down there. Okay. All right. Appreciate you. 
Thanks, gentlemen. You guys be safe. Yep, appreciate it. Let's go. Man, I'm Please having some problems, man. Just saying. Seven. Yeah, two two sevens. Okay, are we're gonna we're gonna give him a ride down there to you guys. Okay. All right. Feller, man, I can't get this thing. I don't know. She ain't moving on me. I feel like maybe the brakes locked up on her. Let's see. Oh Jesus. Probably them them fire guys thinking they know what to yeah. fix there. Probably fucking pinch the line. Shut your eyes for a second. Well, I can. Close it. Oh, ready then. All right, man. All right, yeah, I head on back two two seven. Got that uh, magic touch. Yeah, he does. Learned that back in the army. Lights always stay this red in the city. Bye, bitch. Yeah, you control the police a little bit. We, you can have a little banter back and forth, man. Nothing wrong with that. You want this in the middle bay? Yeah, it's going to pull it forward up and we'll unload it and then we'll move it. Okay. Yeah, she don't seem to want to start. Might have to snatch blocker in. Okay. Um, let's uh, roll it off the bed at least, and then uh, we'll get a repair kit to at least do the engine repair. I'll teach you how to do that. Okay.
Alright, go ahead and uh, pull up like you did with that car jack, but you're gonna, instead of doing the car jack, just do the uh, engine analysis. Is that under vehicle health or engine repair? Uh, engine repair. Pretty skinny to fit under there. Yeah, man, I'm uh, I had an eating disorder back when I was 14. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead and try it out. That should at least move it enough to uh, get it into the shot. It may die out, it only lasts for a little bit. Oh, maybe that's why I wouldn't start. It's a fucking right hand drive. Oh, man. Remember how to do the rest of it, right? I think so, man. You just observe. I'll see if I can get her. All right, I'm going to turn the truck lights off. I said no replacement for this vehicle. Body required. Body is now tip top. I didn't do anything to it. Yep, oh, yep, you're all set. Ah, right, man, I'll be drop her down a little bit. Yeah, if there's no missing parts and you did the engine rep, so you, because you already did the engine repair plus that, it's all good to go. All right, man. Just taking me a second. My menus are super slow. Hey, no worries. Yeah, man. Thanks, too. Yeah, the service truck is pretty sweet. Anomic Silver, hello. All right, fella. You just pull her out, park her in the lot. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see. We go ahead and park in that first spot. You can uh, just do the impound. We'll just won't put a fee on it because you already paid. And okay. That way you can pick it up whenever he's ready. All right. Actually, I think he's right there. They just pulled up, so we can just park it. There he is. You're all set, Mohammed. Thank you. No problem. See you, man. Happy trails. Thank you. All right, man. Well, you're all good. I'm got my aid in. I'm probably gonna get heading up, heading on out. I'm gonna. I got a date on the war zone. You ever played war zone before? Uh, yeah, I think I played it. Come on, me real quick. Hang on. Yeah, all right, man. You want me to go park the truck first, or? Ah, uh, no. I'll park them all the way. I'll all right. The way. All right, mate. Bring them all out. Do the inventory check for the weekly. You ever find anything weird in the cars? Like, let's say the cops search it, they don't have anything criminal, but there's some other weird shit. Hey, man, thank you so much for my bonus. I appreciate that. Hey, no problem. I think the weirdest thing I found was a double-ended dildo. 
and it was hot pink with glitter. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What do you do with that kind? You just leave it in the car? Or? I close my eyes, act like I didn't see it, leave it in there, and just go about my business, you know? I respect that. I respect that. Well, yes, sir. Well, uh, what you think for your first day? That was pretty good, man. It's not pretty good. I like getting out there and driving around. I think, I, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out when I get some of those braking issues what the fix is for that. But all in all, I mean, I think uh, I, I pretty cut and dry. I do get it. I, I'm looking forward to the heavy heavy record stuff. But, um, yeah, man, I think it's pretty cool, dude. That's yeah. good, man. Well, you check out these other trucks, and we'll run you through what you can use them for. Uh, yeah, man. Just so you know what's what. So... 2500 Silverado utility. Uh, everything over here, if you come to the side. Go ahead and uh, check out that little compartment there. You got all your equipment loaded in. So anything you need is going to be in there. All right, man. Yeah, I see. What do you use your, like, your cleaning kits and stuff for? So they're supposed to be for cleaning the vehicle. However, they're a little buggy. So, all right, so we, uh, we do got graffiti kits uh, in the glove box. We got fire extinguishers in there. We got lock pick in case there's any lockouts. We okay. Can do lockouts as well. Um, we gotta be careful with those purely because we don't know if they actually. Have the car. All we right. So check that. So. Is there a way to contact like if we get in a bind, like the police could run a plate and validate for us? Yeah, that's probably gonna be your best route to go is to see if they can come on scene, validate, and then we'll unlock it for them. All right, man. That sounds like a plan. Then uh, you got your rollback, Chevy rollback. This is that one I was telling you about for more of your smaller stuff. Yep. And then we'll pull this van forward a little bit. Oh yeah, man, you got stuff all over in this thing. Yeah, so this is gonna be our, this is our number one roadside unit right now. Yeah, we actually got one on order right now. It's another Silverado. It's gonna be kind of like a heavy roadside. Um, so this is what you're gonna be using for any big calls, any tire repairs. These transits, man, they're hard to get your hands on. I tell you, I actually, uh, my last place I was trying to work for, I was working for, so Amazon actually has an X3 years of orders on all Ford Transits, I think 250s and above. Wow. Yeah, you can't buy a fucking Transit van, save your life. Yeah, that's What's up, Stom? How you doing, dude? But yeah, I mean, 762, we can do uh, minor you, roadside repairs if there's anything, you know, quick fixes for engines. You know, like I said, blowing coolant hose, whatever, dead batteries, all that. This thing's equipped, ready to rock and roll, get your toolbox there and everything you need. So. Then uh, we also got a push bumper on there, so if we got to push anything out of the road, um, we usually use this for our traffic assistance too. Okay, yep, so yep, yep. It's got the whole nine yards. And then mm -hmm. uh, that beauty over there is my personal, our supervisor truck. Okay. Yeah, we should have room for its own, dude. Oh, yeah, man, I think Sharp. Jacob Cox, 838, thank we'll you. Use for off, any kind of off-road winching for now until we get more of an off-road capable unit. Alright, so this but, you probably uh, winch something out into the roadway and then we can hook it with the, with the uh, big boy? Exactly. So then, uh, let's see here. We also got full scene lights on this bad boy too. So oh, nice. Yeah. Nighttime is going to make it a lot easier. So any kind of uh, nighttime recoveries, uh, especially out near Sandy and Polito where it's really dark, if there's a couple of us on, I like to bring this out. That way we got some better visibility. And yeah, man. These guys see it bright. Bright lights make people slow down, I'll tell you. I'm wondering down the road, they're thinking about, you know, I've seen another place where, you know, some car shops do like full engine swaps and stuff. I wonder if that's something they'll do down the road and be able to kind of coin that part of the business. Yeah, I'm definitely, we're definitely looking into expanding for that custom side. We don't do any custom work. I know that gentleman before he wrecked his car again, one or two, but we'll get there. Definitely get there. Well, all right, man. Yeah, I'll probably get heading off here. And, uh, yeah, I had a good first day, man. I enjoyed it. Right on. Well, you did a good job. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. Take care, buddy. You too, big guy.
Alright guys, I'm probably going to get it wrapped up here. Give me a couple minutes to get zone loaded in. I'll get live on that. But, um, yeah guys. Good first day of towing. See you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. First day, Kevin Mack, Otto's towing, in the books. See you everybody.